Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back again. Look at this, another Polish TD. We did the tier 10, 9, and 8 yesterday. So I thought, hey, a lot of comments uh, in the comment section about, hey, why don't we look at the uh, the other ones? So here is the tier 7. We're going to do tier 7, 6, and 5. Because why not? Okay? Tier 7. Uh, regular ammo. Uh, 202 pen 420 alpha. Premium round. 245 420 alpha and look what is that it's a bz it's an abomination and so title of the video today is uh, should you get the polish tds because i had to make the title different than the previous title yesterday's title which was uh well you know what it was <laughs> well, well what did you guys think let's see kenny kenny oh, boom oh beautiful what do you guys think? Uh, should you get them? Yesterday's discussion was more of do you think the new mechanic they introduced um, was was like a good thing or do you think it's just there to encourage uh, you getting close and brawling? You know, doing more damage simply because you're closer. Because we all know in the, in the world of uh, physics that when the shell leaves the barrel and uh, it's encased in a metal thing with a pointy end, it travels through the air. Its highest velocity is the instant it leaves, leaves the barrel. And from that moment on, it starts to slow down. So the farther the target is away, the less likely the shell uh, will penetrate. It has less penetrate because the velocity of the shell decreases. Until it's really, really far away, then it, you know, just... Bloop, it hits the ground and it has no more velocity, right? But if the shell hits something and penetrates and then explodes, does it matter if it traveled uh, 50 meters or 400 meters? That's the So the question was, is, uh, is the mechanic just there to encourage you, uh, players to, uh, to get close and brawl and die quicker? So that's not the question today. The question today is, uh, is it worth uh, grinding them? And I gotta say these uh, lower tier ones, a tier seven that has 420 alpha and okay armor and a decent rate of fire is um, like a beast. You know, it's getting on the borderline beast or par perhaps beast. This thing looks pretty good, doesn't it? And of course, you know, it's new, so it looks pretty good. And what are you doing? What is he doing? Well, there's, it's glitching is what it's doing. I think this guy's game glitched. This is not me. His game glitched while he played. And he just surged forward. Some, his uh, his um, connection just, you know, vaporized. And he just surged forward into the house. And then he reconnected. And he was able to, uh, to do that. So he got ammo racked. While he and he's probably pissed. Jeez, I glitched, right? And so we're watching. Oh wow, we're just watching live how he's doing it. And like this tank, decent rate of fire, high alpha, uh, okay armor. He's bounced fifteen hundred. I'd have to say uh, maybe some of the low tiers are. Well, let's watch the other ones, but maybe worth getting. What do you think? How many of you guys have uh, ground them? And yes, there is a tree on my shirt. It's a green shirt. Brown in color, but it's green. <laughs> Snap it! Put it penetrate their armor. It's just, hey guys, these things are new, right? Anytime you're playing the, the new tank in the game, just snap, shoot. Your RNG is never gonna get better. Just like all of you, uh, pause the video and go into your, uh, uh, where you have a mirror, like your bathroom or your, wh wherever you have a full length mirror, stand in front of that mirror and look at yourself and say to yourself, you will never be as good looking as you are right now. Because every minute from now on in your life, you will get uglier. And years and decades in the future, you'll be a wrinkled, old, shriveled up, horrible looking person. 
And so will I. <laughs> right? It's just, it's Nietzsche's way. And it's also World of Tanks way. This tank will never be as good as it is, you know, when you, for, why do you, why are you aiming at the ground? The shot's going exactly where you're aiming. Why would he do that? Did you see him there? He was... Alright. Boom! Enemy <laughs> and that's, uh, that's known as the honeymoon period, guys. It's, uh, it's just, it's just a fact that, uh, your matchmaking and your, let's just say RNG is gonna be, um, you're not gonna get trolled so much, uh, with the new line. Otherwise, you know, people say, screw this. Line sucks, I'm not playing it. It's always good at the beginning. Then later we will make decision, Yuri. We will look at statistics. We will see how close average damage of these Polish TDs is to powerful Russian ones. And we will make adjustments, Yuri. <laughs> uh. Uh. But hey, this guy, uh, is he going to break 5,000 damage? Let's see. Let's see. And it's called a Gawika. I probably pronounced that wrong, but there's a Gawika surging forward. Look at that on the minimap, guys. There's a Gawika. Surging forward, and someone's pinging the map. And he's patiently waiting here, ready to snipe. And look at that aim circle. It's very small. Created. It's a, this thing looks like it could snipe. And there's no decrease of damage with distance at this tier, I don't believe, right? It hasn't, doesn't start till tier 8. The weird mechanic. Yeah, th this is, uh, he's, yeah, he's got a straight up 420 uh, alpha. Doesn't matter how far the target is. And that's formidable. At tier 7, that is formidable. Let's see if he gets the last shot here. These guys are taking their time. Why, do, why don't you just, if you crossed, there you go. He's taking his time. Just a moving along. There you go. See? Moving the... Move your barrel around. Snap! Got him! Try and do that in six months. So he aces it and does get over 5,000 damage. Well played. Well played. And he, um, you know, he made credits with some personal reserves on. The Burza is the tier six. Uh, they do look... Uh, they all kind of look the same. They follow the same uh, trend. Which is good. Just a little bit smaller version of the tier 7. Let's check. The regular ammo has 182 pen. 280 alpha. Which is... Uh, that's okay for... Nothing special for tier 6. That alpha. Uh, 220 pen. 280 alpha. On the APCR. How's... What's the HE shell look like? The HE shell is... 53390. Uh, there's some heavy tanks that have uh, 390 pen at tier 6. So... Uh, the 280 is nothing it's not over the top but the rate of fire is good it looks like the the circle while he's moving is not so big let's see how he does and he's on his way he's grinding over oh, the, the aim time is a little bit uh, shockingly slow there and he's going to an interesting position why would you go to this position uh, take the low ground i guess is what he's thinking you know why would you want to get up on that ridge line when you can take the low ground Very nice uh, sounding and and handling gun. He's taking the low ground, guys. Uh, you know, if you get spotted in the low ground here and the enemies are in force at the edge of the forest, you're dead. So, but let's see how it works out with him. Uh, interesting strategy. Fairly interesting. I guess he's just going straight in because it's an encounter mode, and he figures most of the enemies are heading towards the base there. But I would not recommend this strategy. But uh, this guy, uh, he did it, and it, uh, he's making it work, right? Now that guy explodes. Daddy, his teammate just exploded, but he's going to make this guy pay. Yeah, oh, ho, ho. He's rolling pretty good, 289, or 299, 280, 279. The rolls are looking good. Uh, come on, buddy. Just, you can do it. Oh, he's, he's, there you go. Boom. 
Next He's one. aiming his shots carefully and they're going exactly bullseye, so but he does not he's not bouncing a lot of shells. His reload is not that great. Gun handling so far is it's not let him down. It's uh it's really good. Oh, except for that one. <laughs> just when you thought things were going well. You could shoot that T1 heavy, just adjust a little bit. He's trying to feather these shots in. No. There you go. Yes, 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 yes. You got him. There you go. I guess 283 adds up. Yes, and that guy does not want to move. You know where he should go? Right here. Just there you go there. There you go. No, right across. Okay. Now you got a dead... Is there a pixel? Yes, but non-penetrable pixels. Go to that other uh, corner there so that you can shoot this T-150. Is there a pixel, Yuri? Yes. Is Laurel Russian pixel? <laughs> That's the first real... The first two real low rolls that he's had. 257, 263. On the Rush, powerful Russian tech. And... <laughs> That's funny. He's doing good. He's doing good. Now, very nice. I don't understand why no one, because uh, this guy's been spotted numerous times. These guys in the forest don't move into these positions to shoot him in the rear. He's very lucky because uh, this whole central part of the map, map is very, um, very dangerous. It's a dangerous position. You, you can get shot from everywhere. So if the enemies had brains, uh, he would have been taken out. But, uh, the, obviously, the enemies do not have any brains. And uh, he's not going on top of the ridge lines. And perhaps it's because of the lack of gun depression? Yes, perhaps he did not because he's worried about his gun depression. And perhaps he just wanted to go into the middle of the map. Uh, let's see how he does here. Poke around the corner. Uh, the enemies have really not played the game well at all. And snapped it right in there without aiming. It all, it's almost like his shot was adjusted to hit the tank. You might as well move forward and shoot some more. Come on. Go shoot your... Shoot your... There you go. Boom! Oh, he low rolled on the IKV. Who's, who's rushing to get in the cap now. But he hit the house. <laughs> You can do it, buddy. He's be being very careful. Very careful, which is good. Good good habit to be in. Boom! Very good. He's, his, he's playing it well. He's playing it well. It looks like they, uh, they could be winning by capping here soon. He's going to line up this last guy. Boom! And the guy reset. The T-3485M was able to reset with an HE shot. And uh, look, uh, look at all the holes in his, uh, you know, right through the gun mantlet and stuff. So armor-wise, didn't really hold up. Decent. I'd say decent. And there's a shot for you. You're not paying attention. Pay attention. Right. And now the M8A1 is the lone last surviving enemy. And Mr. Uh, Tumalix from the Dream Clan. Clam? Dream. Dream, dream, dream. When I shot you, you exploded. And he, he aced the tank with over 15,000 W and 8 there, guys. Uh, uh, very nicely played. A uh, lot of zeros on his team, which helped his total, and he made some credits. And we're going to go down as far as Tier 5. This one kind of looks... Like a, like a hot tub, I guess. Uh, I don't know. This, this one looks weird. But uh, let me ask you guys then, uh, those of you who are dedicated players, and because I know there's a group of you that have uh, researched this full line. There's people within a day of their release have the tier 10. Well, there's certain players that get the content immediately and they, they uh, free XP or whatever and get them all. Dedicated players. So, for you guys, let's have help out the regular schmoes, the regular Klausians that are watching, that are have 
nowhere near grinding the line or even started. A lot of free-to-play players and players that are not uh, um, as dedicated as others will take time uh, to get to even decide whether they go down this line and that they're probably waiting for a certain period to see how they perform and what people think of them, right? So if you have already grinded your way, is that a word? Grinded or ground your way? Then uh, leave some comments to help out some of the people that are watching this thinking, should I get them? I haven't decided. If you already have them, uh, leave some comments to help out the, the regular uh, guys. Are, are they worth it? Are you happy you got them? Which one's the highlight? Just from looking at the videos, to me, I think the tier uh, uh, the tier 8 looks pretty powerful. Would you guys agree with that? And I think the tier uh, 9 and 10 look decent. But remember, in tier 9 and 10, there's a lot of tanks that are, are powerful, right? And if you get sucked in by this mechanic of getting close at tier 10, there's a lot of tanks that can evaporate you. Right? One nice Hess shell in your side, or uh, you just encounter an object 279E at the choke point or any Russian medium tank or uh, not necessarily Russian but any medium tank with 340 heat pen sniping from the back you know, your game is going to be short so let me know your uh, what you guys think this guy is sitting about as far back as he can get <laughs> and he's tracked them and he's ready to shoot again because he won't get shot again and now oh he's got to back up he's got to push himself here or he will get can now this is a situation oh, you didn't back up okay he didn't get spotted this is a situation where uh you move to a position like this and unbeknownst to you a troop of muppets shows up a troop of muppets that uh, do not understand this position or how exposed they are just flounders forward <laughs> and that's uh that's what oh, <laughs> this guy's behind a dead tank oh, that's, don't shoot you're gonna get spotted if you shoot he's getting the spotting assist now back up he didn't back up but he, I, I, he didn't get spotted which is interesting no the other guy yeah there's Coppola let's see if there's pixel Yuri oh there is critical damage pixel. You get to the low tiers and uh, a lot of interesting stuff can happen. Ricochet. You ricochet off track wheel. Shoot type 64. Shoot type 64. Oh, uh, track wheel penetrate. Oh, yeah. T28. Make him pay. Make him pay. Oh, he paid. And I guess uh, th this it's all come around. That uh, yeah, TD sitting at the back. Damn, that ruins the game. War gaming introduces mechanic where tanks do more damage if they get closer. Some of you uh, legitimately would say, uh, I'm sick and tired of uh, uh, pushing at the end, trying to win a game, and there's an invisible STRV uh, sitting at the back winning the game. And that's not necessarily, uh, you know, the normal reaction would be, you know, I hate s sniping, campers. I should rather than make them a mechanic where tanks do more damage if they get closer. Perhaps the STRV shouldn't be invisible. <laughs> Stuff like, but it's balanced because uh, in a lot of games, uh, the STRV goes to the back and sits in its bush, and the team pushes forward and sits there with no shots. Right? You could play too passive as a sniper and never get involved in the battle. So, you know, you look at the averages and they probably all... Uh, it all works out in the wash. In some games, you win and your campers are just sitting at the back. In other games, uh, you all die and the campers at the back get some shots. Sometimes they win, sometimes they lose. So It takes all kinds. And now let's see if you can move into position here and actually do some damage on Mr. Pixel. Yes. Yes. Nice shot and he didn't get spotted again. Interesting that he's not getting spotted. That Type C oh, the Type 64 went over the ridge line. That's why he didn't get spotted. I thought the Type 64 was still in uh, these bushes right over here. But he was not. 
You almost would have been better off staying where you were. These guys are still pushing the same line. Pixel! Very nice. I don't know. The tier 5 seems to me like uh, any tier 5 could do this. Uh, tier 5. Pretty much any tank. <laughs> pretty much any tank you have uh, at the low tiers. If you have a, a well-trained crew with full concealment and full equipment on your tank, and you fully aim your shots, you can do really well. You can carry games. Uh, because a lot of the players you're going to play against are just grinding their way through and they don't have all the good stuff. We've had this discussion before, right? Uh, tier 5 is a kind of a seal clubbing tier where you can put your 6 skill crew in your best tier 5. It doesn't really matter which tier 5 tank it is. Uh, uh, as long as it has the best are uh, good concealment, mobility, view range, and DPM. It, the armor doesn't matter. Uh, funny gimmicks and mechanics don't matter. Just, it doesn't matter if it's a medium tank or heavy tank. TD. It could be a TD with a turret. It could be a, a light tank. But just, just as long as you got good concealment, good mobility so you can move around, shoot everyone, no one sees you. That's kind of the the go-to Unicom way of playing at Tier 5. If you ever watch some of the, the popular uh, streamers, they're really good players. When they're playing Tier 5, great crew in a tank. They kind of drive around to the known positions. Just shoot everyone. They never get spotted. And that's all, you know, that, that's, that's all she wrote. Let's see if this guy puts his pedal to the metal. This tank does not look too accurate, actually. This uh, this aim circle is pretty big. From what I've what I've seen, I don't particularly like this one. I'd have to say the tier eight to me impressed me, and the tier nine and ten. It's up to you guys. You guys leave some uh, feedback in the comment section. Let's see if he's got a shot at the STRV. Yes, he does. Feels bad. You've been sitting there this whole time patiently. The minute you get a shot, you miss. Now he's got some targets. And you're not getting spotted, so you can be a little bit patient here. Just, just shoot. There you go. Just, just patiently aim again. <laughs> These two guys are fighting to get behind the rock. One of them pushed the other guy behind the rock. Now the other guy goes... <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Pushes his friend behind, back. Good shot. Then he moves behind the rock. Good shot as well. Now this guy's got full HP, and so all he has to do is take out this STRV, and that rhymes. And the Type 64 is going to shoot him in the ass, but that's okay. He can take the hit and just boom. Oh, he didn't kill him. And this guy can shoot him four times, but oh, he's tracked. And, oh, he's hit by the T Type 64. Whoa, Traverse speed is challenging, but this guy's just shooting the ground because he's a muppet, and he's gonna. Uh, he's gonna bounce on him, and he's gonna die. And he's gonna explode! It ends up it's a defeat, guys. This guy has a very uh, unpronounceable name. And the tank. He finishes on top with seven kills. Should we watch the end of that game? So the STRV bounced on him. He killed the STRV. The STRV penned him. And the Type 64 shot him. How did they lose the game? How did they lose the game? Let's, uh... You guys were saying, Cross, why did you end the video? We want to see how he lost the game. Well, this is how they lost the game. The strategy here. Hook the ridge line and shoot? Or hide in bush? Why not hide in the bush? KV-2 is much too scary to shoot. KV-1, what are you doing? I'm in the bush. SPG is running away. Type 64 is in hot pursuit. Something explodes. I have no idea why that exploded. Wargaming just decided that it should explode. Where is SPG going? Where does he go? Where does he go from here? Is it back to the base I fear? No. It's just... Hide behind rock. Not in bush. That would be too concealed a position. Perhaps in this bush. Yes, over there. In the bush. Should I go in the bush, Daddy? Or should I not go in the bush? I like to be beside the rock. That way I can't see anyone that comes from that. Oh, Daddy, I'm spotted. I forgot to go inside the bush, Daddy. Oh, there he is. 
Maybe if I was in the bush, it would have been harder for him to see me. Cave it. Explode, explode. This is beautiful. They've got things under control now. 12 HP, the leopard's still doing well. Oh, the HE shell missed. Just hiding behind the house. I'm hiding behind the house, Daddy. I'm staring at the wall. Daddy, I exploded. I'm a leopard. But I'm only a tier 5 leopard. I wish I was a tier 9 leopard. Where do I go? I'll go this way. World of Tanks greatest flanking maneuver in history. I'll go that way. Oops! There's an enemy. Daddy, there's an enemy. He's, he's chasing me, Daddy. Daddy, he shot me up the ass. What do I do? I, I do a 360 degree turn and keep going in the same direction. Should I, should I turn around and shoot back, Daddy? I'm a very good driver. I'll hide in this bush. Oh, it's not big enough. It doesn't hide my full tank. Oh, Daddy, won't you? Daddy spotted me! And, and that's how they lost. Defeat. I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is ridiculous. Ending game with zero kills in Russian powerful tier 10 artillery. I do not know what is going on. I have tried my best. I do not know what is happening. Oh no. Oh. Hello? Oh. I'm sorry, Yuri. Yuri, I, it, I tried my best. Yes, I know. I'm playing glorious, powerful Russian tank. And, yes, what can I do? What can I do? I need to get at least one kill. RNG will be... You have <laughs> okay, that's good, good. All right, we'll move forward here. Yes, Yuri. Uh, but won't I get detected in Russian uh, SPG? Uh, there is... Uh, I'm, uh, Yuri, I'm detected. What do I do? What do I, don't worry. How can I fight these powerful tanks? There is powerful American T-30, Fosh B. Oh, there is T-30. Yuri, it is over. No. Drive straight toward him, okay? Yes, okay. Uh, Yuri, I missed shot. I thought you were going to fix RNG. Just drive toward him, everything work out? Okay, yes, we, we go. Uh, we're going, Yuri. Then what do we do? What if other tank shoots us? It will bounce? You have fixed RNG? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, it bounced. Well, I, I'm on reload. Just hit, everything will work out? Okay, we hit straight for him, Yuri. Okay, I'm not sure what is going to happen here. Uh, uh, oh, da, da, it's good, yeah. Oh, we squish uh, American powerful TD like bug. Good. Ah, Soviet tank emerges victorious with one kill. Thank you, Yuri. I know, I know. Next time I try harder. Uh, my job is never done.